how it's important for us to, you know, learn and support each other in mm -hmm. business and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to ask you guys, because I've been looking at numbers here in Orlando, right. why don't a lot of African Americans vote? Now, let me say this. A lot of white people don't vote either, just for the record. But for us, since this is for the culture, why don't we vote? I asked one high school student, and he said something key to me. He said, because maybe they feel like um, when they had a black mayor, the black mayor didn't do anything for them. I was like, we've never had a black mayor. No, no. So he didn't even know that. Mm. I can't. I can give you my opinion. Okay. Okay. Um. Who? So, um, I got to go to the inaugural. Mm -hmm. Um, the first inaugural oh, you're about when about I was Obama? in high school. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. Uh, I went there, but you know they had like the youth, or not like, stuff events going on, mm -hmm. and um. Uh, you know, seeing all that, like, oh, I didn't get to vote, and then being able to vote, and, you know, understanding all that, and voting and stuff. But then, it's the stigma around it now. And it's like, for me, and I know talking to a lot of other peers, I guess we're in a place where we feel like, man, but it's like we're doing all of that. We're, we're playing by all the rules, but yet, it's, it's the things that we need are not getting there. And like, for example, and when you say we're playing by the rules, I'm hearing a culture thing, but what, like, for example. But, and, and then again, because so much, it's like, um, see, I'm getting twisted on my words. Like, we're playing by the rules, like, say, we're here to make a statement. Like, we understand the importance of our voting, mm -hmm. and we prove that point with certain platforms, we, we the young generation did. And and even, I say the young, because I'm going from our perspective mm -hmm, of black mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. I can't even talk about the older people because then they're in a whole nother thinking field or, right. you know what I'm saying, or middle age too. Mm -hmm. But for you know our generation, we feel like, okay, we've, we've been doing this, we show what we can do as the younger generation before, but still at the end of the day, we we were getting shut out and then to an the extent sometimes with the younger especially black younger generation we have gotten shut out by black elders you get what i'm saying okay. and those are the ones who want our votes now and we're like but when we want to build something y'all the one who got we're broke mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we're just building the platform mm -hmm. we're broke but you guys can help build the platform and it's like okay you want the votes but then can we come to a place to, to build, and this uh, reminds me of like history repeats stuff. This reminds me of SNCC, and when you, um, I can never say Emma, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. But anyways, that bridge at a time when they should have came together, mm -hmm. it was that controversial because of different mentalities. And it's like, we just want to be heard too, and we want to support, but understand our mentality too while we're supporting. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said you know? that. I'm glad you said that. Well, you can't get tired though, because it sounds like you get tired and you give up. Because I see a lot of people vote um, on a national level, but they're not thinking about locally. You vote on a national level, but then you bring your problems locally and say, "Why don't y'all do this? Why don't y'all do this for right, me?" Right. Well, you're not voting the right you're people not in office the right on the local or the right level. Police. Yes. And you can't get tired, so you got to keep fighting on the local level to say, you know, no, you, you got to hear a voice. Like when they did the march after the gun violence, yeah. come on now. They came together and they made their voices heard. You cannot get tired. You got to keep, you got to keep, you know, your voices active I'm on the local you, level. I'm going to tell you why um, our youth don't vote, honestly. It's because uh, we don't have, if their role models voted, they would do it. And we live in an ADHD uh, culture where their minds are so, the attention span is so quick mm -hmm. that they don't, they're don't they not gonna pay attention to that. So if I say, I'm gonna take it back to Huey, Huey P. Neal and them, you know, and our brothers in the Black Panther Party. Um, they had the likes of Jimmy, they had the likes of even Elgin Cleaver, you know, as a writer and being um, someone to be looked upon as. They had the likes of uh, athletes, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say who, but they had, people from the neighborhood make these kids do that because we just wanted to get a community college. That was our mind frame. And so now today, um, when Obama became president, you had Puff Daddy, Kanye West, all these guys influencing the culture, who influenced the culture, mm -hmm. 
and the kids say, Dad, I want that vote or die shirt, you know? Right, right. So with the local votes and the local um, voting system, the kids don't see, the youth doesn't see that same promotion there. There's no marketing. They just see those picket signs on the road mm -hmm. of all those names and all those colors. And I'm not gonna lie, I want to vote. That's good. I, I want yeah. to vote, and because uh, I never could vote, I still I'm messed up in the system. <laughs> you, you, you get your rights restored, right? I can yeah. try. Well, let's <laughs> work that's on another that. story. Let's work on but that. I have voted, and I'm not gonna lie, I have uh, picked everybody's name who was Jenkins, Johnson, right. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> still do that. No, Democrats um, going to go Democrat, Democrat, Democrat I seen Democrat, some Democrat. guy, his last name was Singh. So I know VJ Singh the golfer. I'm like, oh, he Indian. Let's get him. So I'm going to check his name. <laughs> a lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. And so, but what drove me to get to there was um, the fact of the voter's guy mm -hmm. thing, you know. It made the people think, like, dang, you know, it's a lot going on. And um, I don't know if the Trayvon thing was involved. There was something that brought our people together at the yeah, time. Yeah. Well, you know what you just mentioned, like when you mentioned Black Panther Party and the you know, voter die, what they did was organize. Yeah. And so we have to pick an issue that we're passionate about and organize behind it, not just vote, because voting just one time. What's going to happen after you vote? And so I mean, we, we got to make it a repetition. About, exactly. And we have to talk about, though, what issues matter to us most now. Like, you live way in. Sanford or somewhere like that? Or past Sanford, right? She, you she, live in yeah, Sanford. She does, she does, I said she Sanford. I shouldn't have said that. But anyways, yeah. you live further, right? I'm in the I'm on yeah. Eastern Lando. So like what things matter to you most? Um I know here in, in the Orlando area the issue I just when I saw a whole bunch of homeless people being fed. You know, homelessness. It's it's against the law to we we feed the homeless and they it's against the law to do it without getting consent from the county. Well, she's got consent because I looked down there and that was one of my clients. I just Ooh. told Justin, I was like, wait a minute, I know her. I didn't know what she was feeding people because she's always on Facebook and they happened to be one of my clients. She's and you down just there noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah, it was it was a beautiful all thing. Came, you yeah, know, it was a beautiful you thing. Witness that. It made you I want to go down and help. I wanted to, but we were going to just start this. But I said, okay, let's go do this. Um, and I, the reason why I'm going to say it like this, because this, this also goes with the whole relationship with the um, with the younger crowd. Mm -hmm. How do it feel being the first? Because, let me be honest with you, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people when think about coming to even a platform like this, to mm -hmm. even tap into yeah. A whole new market. You know what I'm saying? Um, 